Good morning. Today is Saturday, March 7th, 2020, Route 66. Week 66. Uh, it's it's our 15-month update. <laughs> so this one's going to have measurements and BMIs and pictures at the end that you can compare where we've come on our journey since uh, December 1st of 2018. Yes. So let's get to it. Last week I was 324 and this week I was 322.4. I did a 74 and a half hour fast this week. I'll continue that each week, somewhere between 48 to 80 hour fasts. I'm trying to get in each week. I'm trying to break down the insulin resistance basically, get this body to kick in. My sugars jack up and I understand that because we're trying to get the pancreas and the yeah. liver to expel sugar. So I'm trying not to get freaked out about that, but my sugars are going up like 208, 212 on a four day fast even, you know, no food in me. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get through it. You're getting get it. to it. Yep. So where does that put me? As of December 1st, 2018, I was 382.6 and today I'm 322.4. It's a total loss for me on keto at 60.2 pounds so far. And if you hadn't seen the video on my blood work and is keto killing me, boy, you'll you'll be surprised to see what some of the numbers are between the AST, the ALT, the cholesterol, the, the A1C. Everything yeah. has just come into line so nicely. I'm so happy with that progress. And uh, we're going to get this weight off too. My goal is to be 240. I'm six foot six, and I am 322.4 right now. And I'm going to get to 240. I'm hoping to get there this year. Absolutely. In You'll 2020. 2020 is my year, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> so when we started, Bill's inches were 241.5. And he has lost a total of 14.5 inches. Now Oops. he's at 227. So that's, that's pretty awesome. I'll take it. Yeah. And my BMI, when I started on it's, December 1st of... 44.2. 44.2 on December 1st of 2018. As of this morning, my BMI was 37.3. So on BMI scale, I am down 6.9 so Yay. far. Yay! I'll take it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty happy. Pretty excited with that. Yep. 15 months, doing well. Absolutely. So for me, last week I weighed in at 136.2. This morning I weighed in at 134.2, so I'm down 2 pounds from last week. Um, I started my journey at 180. Point two. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. 15 months ago. 15 months ago. I am five, four and a half. <laughs> Got to get that half in there. Um, so I am down a total of 46 pounds since we started this journey. Yay. So pretty cool. Looking um, good, feeling good. I am. I started uh, with an overall of 215 inches. I'm at 188 inches total right now for a total loss of 27 inches on this body. Did we get mine in at 14.5 yeah. inches total? We did. So you've lost almost double the amount of inches on your body. I think we have more measurements for you too, though. One more measurement. Okay. I got, I got the bust measurement yeah. that Bill doesn't have. You got a chest measurement, but you have a bust and a, and bust line. a bra that's, line. Or yeah, something. that's very different. Yeah, for girls, you know what she's talking about. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. No, that's okay. So I'm a total of 46 pounds down since we started our journey. Okay. Um, feeling fantastic. Looking fantastic. The, aw, thanks. The sizes are amazingly different um, going from an 18 to a 22 woman's. She says 18, but you know what? I'm the one that sews in this house and I was sewing buttons on the 18s because they were popping. So you were probably more 18, 20. Yeah, that's because okay. you were pushing the 18s. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was getting... fixing her pants all the time because she was popping the button. Not now. No, no, not now. You're a six now, right? Uh, about an eight. Six, a, eight. A comfortable eight. Depends on the jeans. Yeah, it depends Girl on the sizes jeans. are weird. They are. <laughs> so feeling fantastic. Um, definitely, I can see the biggest difference in my face. We you were watching some videos, and I was looking for some old pictures because we're doing a new family collage. And uh, yeah, uh, so what else we got on the sheet before we talk? Because uh, everybody wants to get to the numbers. We are a total of one hundred six point two pounds down together. So when we started this journey, my BMI was thirty, <laughs> and. Right now, as of this morning, my BMI is 
So I'm down 7.7. I'm in the normal range on yeah, BMI. That's good for you. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. Yeah. <laughs> if you notice, Stacy's not in her sling. She is restricted on her weight to what she can do with her arm, but yes. she can actually have it off and just be very conscious of not lifting and doing too much with it. I think that that's a good thing because yeah. as you move, it's going to help, you know, that stiffness that you get so bad. It's, it's pretty sore. Um, it's going to be for a while. But it feels good not to have the sling on. Um, and you I, start physical therapy this week, right? Yes, I start physical therapy this week. At this point, I'm on restrictions for four weeks. No lifting, pushing, pulling, or carrying more than two pounds. Yeah, but you can move a pen. You can do other things. You know? Yeah. Yeah. She's been writing checks at Costco for all those members that come in and get their little cash rewards from their visas. Yeah, from the Citibank visas. So uh, I've been extremely busy still. I don't get the steps in like I have been. I normally average about twenty four to 26,000 steps a day. And I'm averaging... Six. <laughs> six. If I'm lucky. She's in my range now. <laughs> so that's been um, a little bit of a difference for me. Um, but that's okay. We'll yeah, get there. We will. I still lost weight, so I'm happy. Sure. It's a good week. Win-win. Yeah. Win-win. We get a double win on this one. <laughs> double win. Absolutely. Yeah, so I'm going to continue my fast each week. I think I might even play with the idea of going a normal day, eating. The next day, the next 24 hours, fasting. Then going a normal day, then the next day fasting. Yeah. So an on-off 24-hour fast type of deal. I want to just see, I want to kind of confuse my body. I want to try things and see if anything sparks anything different. Yeah. Uh, but I am getting back into my fasting. I've always done the 16-8 intervals of uh, you know intermittent fasting. But I was kind of getting lax on doing my longer fast, 48 yeah. to 72 um, I don't know that I'll do it this week. I think I'll do the full fast, like the 4872 range. But I'm toying with the idea of doing an alternate day fast every 24. So let me know in the comments if you guys have ever experienced some of that. Uh, I know Mika does a lot of the fasting, and so does Tommy now. So uh, yeah. some of you guys maybe give me a little comments in, below and uh, let me know what you think of something like that. I'm, I'm considering a 24-24 on-off switch for my fasting just to try it, just something different, throw yeah. my body off a little. Yeah. And I'm still getting down here on the bike and keeping active and moving. Got to keep moving. You know, doing my best. Wearing a little Fitbit. Always, always trying. He's doing fantastic on the fasting. I give him kudos. Um, doing yeah. fantastic. I got no problems with it. I don't even get like super anxious or anything. I'm. I'd say day one is the worst. <laughs> Because you're yeah. just used to eating and your stomach's like, hey, what's going on? Right. Yeah. But no, it's it's cool. It's all working out. It is. I'm still toying with the idea of a little bit of an indoor garden this year. Um, gosh, I watch Natalie and she's got that great garden outside and it's amazing and I get really inspired, but I don't have the yard for that. I've got a deck. I could build something out there, I guess. But I have a feeling between <laughs> the bugs, because we are in the woods, and the animals, because we have a lot of animals, bunnies, we're going to get attacked if we put anything outside. Our neighbor next door did a really cool garden. She had all kinds of vegetables and the bunnies. And then she put fences up and they still got through. I don't know what was going on. I, I don't know either. But so I have a feeling if we do anything, it's got to be indoors. But I would love to grow little stuff like little tomatoes and maybe even try and raise an onion or I don't know, just... Green pepper. I got that little thumb thing going on. I got like the urge to mess with it. Wanted to get one of those arrow gardens, um, but obviously they're expensive. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'll look into that. Maybe I'll watch some YouTube and see if somebody's doing an indoor garden. It'll inspire me and be cheaper. You know, an option that would work. We'll let him take care of it because I can kill a cactus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought her a cactus as a joke because she was killing plants and she killed the cactus too. <laughs> I don't have a green thumb by any means. Anytime you have a drink, just give it a little drink. I try. Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, anything else going on? We we released the Costco haul recently. Yep. If you hadn't seen that one, that was huge, over 65 items. Yeah. And uh, I love the comments on those. Actually, I went back to Costco last night. We found a few things. We actually found a keto bar. Now, the label wasn't the cleanest. I think it had maltodextrin in it, but it ended up being two net carbs. And Stacy, her eyes kind of glazed over when she saw the box. So we did buy them, and she will. I took one bite of it last night. It yeah. wasn't bad. What did you think? It, it 
It's not bad. Definitely will take care of that chocolate. It's crunch. not a dog bar. Right. <laughs> it's not a dog bar. But it it really, looks like it. Yeah, but it really wasn't bad. Um, it will take care of on a hot day and you feel like you just want a little bit of ice cream. A little indulgence. You feel like you're cheating, but it's not like, really. Not really cheating, but the maltodextrin kind of turns it off for me personally because I have such a long journey to right. go. For you, you probably won't be too affected by it if you right. just go into it. So those will stay in there for you. Got to keep Julia away from them because they're a buck a bar, I think. You know, 12 bucks for 12 bars. Oh, I didn't pay attention to how much yeah. they were. <laughs> but but those are in there for you. And you can have one when you really need one. Yeah. You know, maybe once a week, once every two weeks or something. Yeah. I got a up. new nut granola, blueberry nut granola oh, from lowcarb.com. Low yeah. So, so, so we'll watch, watch that. out for that video. Uh, that'll come out probably this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah so. We'll get that out easy. It's a blueberry low-carb granola. Yeah. Looked like a clean label, too. So I'll probably try that one. It's uh, the last granola I tried for them was fantastic. I loved it with yogurt. Made a really nice uh, breakfast for me. Yeah, so um, we we'll have to get some plain yogurt, like vanilla yogurt or something basic, so you could add the blueberry and have the full effect taste instead of right. putting it into raspberry or banana or something where you'd have a mix. Yeah. So get some vanilla yogurt, and then uh, we'll try and get that out by midweek yes. because I'm going to start my fast on Tuesday night. I usually start the fast on Tuesday night, and I try and make it till Friday or Saturday so that, you know, we're ready for our update. So that's what I'm going to do this week. So I'm hoping we get that video at least recorded by Tuesday night and then out for Wednesday or Thursday. Sounds that's good. my goal. That's my goal this week. That's try and get plan. that low carb out. Absolutely. Yep. We'll do that. Awesome. Thanks, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching and hanging out with us. And um, I, I hope that if you're on your keto journey, you stick with it, stay with it. Uh, trust the process. I was going to make a shirt. I should still make that trust the process shirt. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you'll get a kick out of it. Maybe I'll do it for the granola video. There make a go. shirt this weekend and we'll have it by Monday or Tuesday for trust the process. Trust the process. Maybe I'll put trust the process and then like real small keto. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll do something fun. He'll do something fun. I'll do something fun. But I'll wear it. And today I don't have my Contigo. I have my Journey mug. This is the church we used to go to when we lived up north. In Michigan a little bit and I miss the journey let me tell you mm -hmm. great church great people yes great family absolutely yeah all right guys well we gotta get Stacy off to work you guys have a wonderful weekend and we're gonna try and do the same and stick with your keto stick with it trust the process absolutely see you soon bye bye